For practice itself, check 5.8 do while loops. We are asked for each of the following do while loops, how many times will the loop execute its body? We need to remember that zero, infinity, and unknown are legal answers. So if we take one and two, we can start looking at these. We initially have that our x is equal to one, and we are going to print x and then a space. And then every time this runs, we are going to increment x by a factor of 10. So we'll start tallying. We will do this once, and then we hit our while statement. And our x is now equal to 11. After um, this first time it runs, it's going to be equal to 11. So it is less than 100, and it will run again. After it runs again, it's going to hit the do while loop or it's going to hit the while part in our do while loop, and then we are going to add this 1 to this 10. So we are going to have 21. Then we're going to run this again. We're going to be at 31, and it's still less than 100. So we're going to go again. We have 41. This is 4. And then we're going to have 51, 5, 61, 6, 71, 7, and then 81, 8, and then we're going to go to 91, and we have run this 9 times so far. Now, we've hit 91, so currently we've gone, we've gone through our loop. After we go through 81, we're going to go through our loop this ninth time. We're going to hit our x, and now our x is equal to 91. So we can write down x is equal to 91. We can see that it's still less than 100. So we're going to run it one more time. Then x is going to become, once it hits this, x is going to equal 101. Then it's not going to run again because it is greater than 100. So it will break out of this loop. And we can say that our first loop, our first do well loop will run 10 times. For number two, we have int max is equal to 10, and we're going to have max minus minus. So in our do while loop, we're first going to run through this. So we have it once, then we hit our max, and now our max is equal to nine. And since it's equal to nine, we are going to run it. Again, we are running this as long as it is less than 10. And we can see that since we have a minus minus, this is going to keep going down till negative infinity and negative infinity is less than 10 so this will run a infinite amount of times so for number two we can write infinity and we get our answer for number three we have our do while loop we have while x modulus 3 does not equal 0 if we take 3 and we have 250 we will get a remainder and it does not equal zero. Since x never changes, that means we will only ever run this as 250 modulus three does not equal zero. And since this is the case, this will also be infinity because nothing is changing and our x is always going to be 250 and the parameter for our while loop will not change. For number four, we have int x is equal to 100. In our do while loop, we have do n r x, which is equal to x divided by 2. So every time this while loop runs, x is being divided by 2. And we're running this while the modulus does not equal, or does equal 0. So we run this once, and then we have our x, um, the first time we're running it, being divided by 2. So x is then going to equal 50 modulus of 2 of this is equal to 0, so we're good on this run. Next, we are going to go through this do while loop again. We are dividing, so this is going to be the second time we're running through it. We are dividing our x by 2, so we're going to get 25. And we can see that our the modulus of x, which is 25, to 2 does not equal 0. We will have a remainder here. So that means number 4 only runs twice. For number 5, 
we have our int x equal to 2. We have our do while loop, and inside here we are multiplying our x by our x. So we're going to run this once, and then after we run this, our x is going to equal 4. This is less than 200 right here, so we're going to run it again. And then we're going to see that our x is going to equal 16. So then we are going to run it again. And then we have 16 times 16, which is 256. And since 256 is greater than 200, this won't run anymore. It will only run three times. And now we can move on to number five, or number six, which is using word length. So for number six, we have string word is equal to a and then we are running this as long as the word length is less than 10. So the first time we run this a the word length is just a and then we have our do while where our word will be um, b a b and this is still less than 10 so we are going to run it again when we're in here we have b b a b b we look at this, our while loop, or our while portion. This is less than 10 still, so we are going to run it again. And then we have B, B, A, B, B. It should be three Bs on each side. Then this is still less than 10, so we are going to run it again. And then we can see that we have B, 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 A, B, 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 B. We have, um, well, we start with one here, then we have three, five, seven, and then we should have nine here. Since this is still less than 10, we're going to run it again. And then after we run this again, we're going to have our string, which is going to be 10 or 11 characters. And since the word length, which is 11, is greater than 10, we're not going to run this again. So we're just going to stop at five for number six. For number seven, we have int x is equal to 100. So we're looking at this as well, as long as x is greater than zero. So x, um, so since we have a do while loop, we're first going to execute the statement. We have one because it's going to run once. At least every do while loop at every do while loop at least runs once. So then we get to this point, and we have x is equal to x divided by two. So x is going to be 50, and then we have our check right here, which we're checking if x is greater than zero. It is, so we're running it again. X is then going to be 25. This is greater than zero, so we run it again. 25 divided by 2 is 12. This is greater than zero, so we run it again. 12 divided by 2 is 6. This is good, so we run it again. Um, 6 divided by 2 is 3, which is greater than zero, so we run it again. 3 divided by 2 is going to be basically 2 divided by 2, which is 1, which is um, greater than zero, so we're running it again. And then we have um, 1 divided by 2, which is basically 0 divided by 2, which is going to give us 0. And since this is not greater than 0, this is where a loop breaks. And we are going to run this 7 times total. For number 8, we have string str. And this is um, a length of 3. We are going to be comparing the length. As long as it's less than 10, we will run this loop, this do while loop. All do while loops execute at least once, so we have one tally here and then we will go through this loop and then our string dot length will equal six this is less than 10 so we're gonna run this again after we run this our string dot length is going to be nine this is still less than 10 so we're gonna run it again and then our string length is going to be 12 this is where our loop breaks because 10 or 12 is greater than 10 so we're gonna be left with three as our answer submit this we can see that we've passed all eight tests these were all of the answers and how to do them for this practice it self-check problem